All right guys, me and Dalton have a special one here for you today. Uh, this 1966 Ford Mustang is one of the best coupes that we've had in here thus far. And uh, as we get a little closer to it, uh, um, in a second or two, you're gonna see just why. This car came from the factory, guys, as original vintage burgundy car. Um, it was repainted in a candy apple red, which I love the color better. Yeah, great um, color. Good choice by the uh, previous owner. We got the car in. We just put a brand new set of American Racing Chrome Torque Thrust wheels. BFG raised white letter tires are brand new. And uh, just a fantastic looking car from bumper to bumper. As we look up and down the sides of this car, both sides, driver's side, passenger side, super straight. And uh, as we go underneath, guys, it's an absolute rust-free original floors, frame, and trunk. So very, very clean underneath. This is what I think is cool. This car is packed full of options for 1966. It's got power steering. It's got power front disc brakes, dual exhaust. Vintage air conditioning was added, which I really love that they chose to do the vintage air, Dalton. Yeah, and also when we get inside, we'll talk about it. Also has a rally pack, um, clock and tack, and both those work. Nice. It's just fantastic car, guys. Um, the whole car in general is just show quality, in my opinion, except for a little of the paint on the inner, fe inner fenders and stuff. Some of that, guys, is the original. As we look here, you're going to see no patches, no issues anywhere on the top of the fenders on both sides. Get your factory VIN number there like you should. But the firewall and inner fenders themselves are original. Bottom of the hood, paint is gorgeous. They went ahead and took everything off, painted this all argent like they should. All new trim on the front. Engine paint is excellent. The engine looks great, sounds great. As we go to the front of the car, all new grill, Orson Corral, bumper, bumper guards, turn signals, lenses, everything is brand new. I shouldn't say brand new, I should say was new during the restoration. It looks brand new. Yeah, it looks brand new. As far as our uh, hood gap on the driver's side, excellent. Lays out really nice and flush. And, and the, that paint is so oh, deep too. The just... paint is awesome on it. I hate to even touch it. You can see our little fingerprints here. And it, Dalton, it's just not the outside paint that's so awesome on this car. It's the door jam paint, the inside of the trunk, uh, everything. If you want to go ahead and we'll rev it up a little bit and you can shut it off and we'll look in the trunk. So here's our idle, guys. Nice chrome tips out the back, nice idle. But it still has that nice little 289 mark. While Dalton opens up the trunk, I'm going to go ahead and uh, um, talk to you guys about the back of the back of the hood, where it meets the top of the fender and the back of the cowl is excellent. It's got all your when they restored it, they put all the new rubbers in there as well. Uh, the chrome around the glass, the rubber around the glass, and, and windshield itself has all been restored and replaced. The wiper arms are excellent. The, just everything is just freaking pristine on this car, in my opinion. Really nice door gap, the bottom of the fender, bottom of the door, um, and the bottom of the quarter panel are excellent. Those wheels were a great choice. You know, it came in with just a, you know, wire spoke. Original wheels. hubcaps, yep. which we have if a guy wants them. Um, and I didn't really know exactly what to do, but I love that you can't go wrong with a chrome torque thrust. No, the especially with the, with the chrome on this car, with the rocker molding wheel well trim. Yeah, it looks great. Um, we also have a couple cars in stock that already had the style steel rims, so we chose to go with this. Um, as we go in here in the inside of the trunk, like I mentioned before, uh, all new rubbers, the restoration and the paint of all the jams is just as nice as the rest of the car. You can still see on both sides the original uh, stamping on the quarters. Yeah, good point. 
so this car definitely has never had full quarters um, and as we talk about it like I said the floors guys we power washed them they're 100% original they weren't painted black or anything we took a bunch of pictures of it um, but our intention is to paint just reshoot them in black um, before we sell the car so but rust free floors all new chrome lenses bumper everything there has been replaced a new gas cap I also like that they didn't clone this into a GT no how many Mustangs have been especially when they have the rally pack the dual exhaust so many people go ahead and clone them to a GT which is fine but this one uh, they chose to leave just the way it was it's got the correct mat they also went guys with all the sound deadener which is awesome they probably did I'm guessing they probably did that in the carpet as well inside the trunks all painted red very nicely original quarters you can see how they have that factory yeah here Dalton this is something good for you to learn too um, on the factory quarters they had that undercoat right there Mopars Fords they all did that okay so as you look in there if you guys are looking for just a super clean Mustang I'm not saying you can't use this as a driver too but I mean this is definitely a show level car Like you mentioned, the paint and the door jams, um, I mean, it still looks wet almost. It does. It does. Whoever buys this is really going to be satisfied with the paint body on it. And then as we go into the interior, just like I said, all the rubbers are new, but they're not just the new cheap ones. You know what I mean? They really installed everything well, too. Mm -hmm. Just a nice job on the restoration. Yeah, and these seats, too, are they're kind of different. They remind me of, like, them TMI. You know how and that's, they... And I'm sure that's what the they are. So... Um, yeah, these aren't the, they're the factory style seats guys, but they're actually am a TMI seat um, Where they have the bolsters on the sides and stuff. So they're just a lot more comfortable So kind of when you're ripping around a little bit, you just stay nice in the in the seat the Front seat covers are all done um, the back seat covers and they're again pristine condition Headliner is excellent visors are nice even your uh, your light on the back of the console works yeah, and, and your under dash lights work too. Yeah, good point, Dalton. And so many of these cars don't have that full console because that console is like 1200 bucks. Very expensive option. Um, as far as our windows go, the felts are new. The roof rail rubbers are new and the windows go up and down really nicely. Um, our little lights work here. All new switches. Again, when this car was painted, the doors, everything was completely taken off. The paint and the door jams. Um, doors are rust free. As we go ahead and open up this, we have the courtesy emergency flasher, which they work. Also has the little uh, light in here that's working as well. So all new console, three speed automatic, seats are comfortable, rally pack. Um, tachometer works so does the clock and we'll get to all that in a little bit um, when they restored it they even went ahead with the visors it's got the new clips and stuff in here so they don't sag at all they stay up up nice the only thing I noticed when I drove this car out Dalton I don't know if you noticed on the test drive but um, it's got a lot of new suspension parts and stuff and some of the stuff up front is just a little bit squeaky mm -hmm. So I'm hoping that uh, that all comes out of it with just a little more driving As we go as far as around it for imperfections so far I've only seen one when I first got out here and I'll point that out, but um, the back side of these uh, Between the back window and the trunk lid is perfect. They got the nice little gap here. They didn't fill that all in Trunk lid's really nice, even as we fit here at the back uh, on the quarter extension, it fits perfectly. Same thing with these uh, rear sails. I mean, the roof. Eh? Whoever painted this car just did a fantastic job. The back glass is crystal clear as well. So many times when someone paints stuff like this, they're going to go ahead and they sand a little bit on the edge of the window, chrome. All the chrome's been replaced. Looks like the glass is it's perfect as well. Another thing to talk about on these Mustang Coupes, so many of these are highly pitted, guys. I'm right along here, and I did notice just a little tiny little paint blem right here that you couldn't wet sand and buff out because on the area it's just got just a little thin little paint line right there. Um, but as we talk here, the rubbers have all been replaced during the restoration, and these are almost either new or just super well taken care of because uh, they're not pitted at all on those wing windows. 
Our body line lines up excellent all the way from the door to the quarter to the fender. No bubbles or blisters. The only paint imperfection that I've seen, and we got just a little buffing compound, and I think this might uh, buff out here too. It's got just a little hairline scratch right here. That's really it. Have you seen anything, D? Nope. And these doors open and close so easy too. We have uh, actually four 65 and six Mustang coupes to choose from. Obviously right now condition wise, this is the nicest and has the most options. Um, here's a couple more, a 67 and another 65. Um, there's another 66 K code over here for speed. So we've got some really nice ones to choose from. This one's got air, it's got the rally pack, it's got the steering and brakes and the console and it's got everything guys and it's yeah. pristine. Yeah. Our door panels are excellent. All the paint on all the door panels are on the top of the doors are excellent as well. When they painted this car, they really got a ton of paint on it. Like all the hinges and stuff have a ton of paint. There's mm -hmm. there's no paint chips or any flaking in the jams. Well, that's the first, first spot you're gonna get if you have some paint flakes. Scuff plates, carpet, headliner. Everything's uh, excellent. Both windows just roll up and down so smooth. Definitely not a cheap paint job. No, it's a very nice car. Um, the odometer, guys, shows 95,359. Fires right up. Our idle is at 500 RPMs as well, so you're not gonna get it to, to run an idle any better than that. Gas gauge works, oil pressure, we're right in the middle there. Uh, amp gauge works and so does the temperature gauge, so. Clock works. Good little American country. Yep. Does have the heater working and the air conditioner. And the air does blow ice cold, guys. Um, dash pad's perfect on it. Rear view mirror is nice and it's really nice and tight. I like these seats a lot too. They're super comfortable. Yeah, they are. yeah they're definitely a big plus. And, and they look original, but they never had the this bolster style. So as you guys, as you Mustang guys know, so when you start these little Mustangs with this uh, green dot, you always want to start in the second position. That just goes ahead and it starts in first then. If you go ahead and you put it in the normal drive, that's gonna start out in second gear. It's actually for better gas mileage, you okay, know? So that's how these C4s were. So this is gonna get better gas mileage, I guess, if you start out in the drive. But uh, if you wanna get on it a little bit, you definitely wanna put it in the green dot. Sure, great point. Here at Coyote, we don't care a whole lot about gas mileage. <laughs> no, we don't. No, we don't. Gas mileage and American muscle cars do not go hand in hand. No. Man, this car is nice. Just absolutely beautiful car. As far as our brakes go, we got power disc and the pedal is excellent pedal. Stops nice and straight. It's not super touchy, but you have a really nice pedal. <laughs> um, when I drove this car for the first time, I called Jay. I said, "It's just a, just a sweetheart, cream puff." You it, know, it is a cream puff. Not just the the way it drives, but the paint and the interior and the floors. I mean, not really much a guy can do to improve it. There's your, uh, see how that in the green dot, guys, it did start in, it did start in first gear. So there's your shift, two nice easy shifts, kick downwards. We do have just a little bit, guys, when we got here in the car, with the rear tires do come in contact just a little bit. We need to check our rear shocks out a little bit there. Yeah, it just cruises already at about 70, 75, and it just goes down the road. Oh, wow. Um, so 
so we have no rear end noise. It's nice and quiet. We have a really windy day today too, guys. Very quiet in here. As far as our brakes go, stop perfectly straight. No pull left or right. Geez, there's downtown Cooper. Blacktop's busy today. It's crazy. What a great car. 65 mile an hour, with into the wind, wheels perfectly straight, one finger on the steering wheel. Great car, guys. So guys, coyoteclassics.com. Um, check this thing out. If you're looking just for a show quality Mustang, it's just ready to go.